So we're gonna stir the pot. Okay, you're gonna stir the pot. Make sure that the arms are directly over and then we're gonna stir. 30 seconds in one direction and then 30 seconds in the other. And I have nice sound effects from my ball. So you can entertain yourself if farts are funny to you like they are to me. Farts always funny. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, other direction. Come on. Keep going. Stir the pot. Keep going. Keep going. Squeezing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. If you have to go down to the knees, go down to the knees. 5, but make sure you're over your arms. 4, so you're getting the work in the core. 3, 2, and 1. Burpee, right here. Taking it out. Lift. One minute. You can have fun with all kinds of equipment. If you want it, if you don't have it, then don't do it with the equipment, obviously. So you just do a regular burpee. Come on. You get 35 seconds. So on the stirring one, if you don't have a ball, you can still stir on the floor, on your forearms. Come on. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go, you're going to push up, push up, keeping your butt down. This is an advanced move. So if it's too difficult, just hold it here. Keep going, pushing it up and come here. Keep your butt down, push it straight up. Core triceps work in here. Come on, push. You have 30 seconds. This is a hard exercise. It's a tremendous amount of work. Don't think about going fast. Think about doing it right. Hold the core in and drive it in. Push in with your elbows, roll it to your hands. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Ooh, that's tough. So from here, holding it here, driving the elbows across. If you want more, jump it. Get over the arms. So a little bit more stability that's happening when you have the ball. I'll do it here. Come on, keep going. Get over your arms, so don't pull too far away from the ball. Make sure that you're staying over, so you're either stepping it. Now, if keeping the foot, foot up is too hard, just tap the foot in, okay? 15 seconds, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, nice. All right. It's a lot on the arms, I know. All right, let's take it to our backs. I'm gonna try and attempt to do this. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do this to the best of my ability. Both feet are on there and you're driving the heels and squeezing in. Lift. Squeeze. Squeeze. Squeeze it and really 
drive the heels in, lift the hips up. Keep them lifted. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. You got 30 seconds. Squeeze. Use my ball a little bit here. Squeeze. In. You should feel tremendous burn in your hamstrings. Squeeze it in, 20 seconds. Come on. Squeeze. 15. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nicely done. My hamstrings are burning. Come in here. Getting on top of the ball. This is a fairly advanced workout, okay? Rolling out on the ball. You're gonna drive the knees in, and then hips up. Drive the knees to the chin, and then hips up. Knees to the chin, hips up. Knees to the chin, hips up. Keep going. Staying over your arms the entire time. Lift. Stay over the arms. Do not pull away from them. In. Lift. In. Lift. We've got 20 seconds left. Up. In. Lift. In. 10. 9. 8. 7. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Peace, done. That's it. All right. I really highly suggest you using the ball if you have one. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you can do if you don't have it. Like on that particular exercise, you could use towels on the floor, driving the knee up, and then piking up like I do with the felt. You can do it with a towel. All right, figure it out. You guys know how to modify it. There have been enough videos up that you can do it. Bye.